Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play new Carnival Bliss on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install new Carnival Bliss and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play new Carnival Bliss. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL that I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. You don't need to type the URL, because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. After clicking on that link, we get to the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to enjoy the game New Carnival Bliss on the PC. As you can discover here we have some pros of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the new Carnival Bliss by simply clicking on this button play on blue stacks that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We answered yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installer much better. The installer is quite simple. It consists of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We merely click on it. So we discover that we, they got here the path where in fact the emulator will be set up. If we would like to modify this folder we must click on that, browse, button, and we choose another directory and install the emulator precisely where we choose. I will set it where it is. I simply click back, so I just click on install. Voila, the install commences and it's going to proceed together with the download of those megabytes which are displayed on the screen. When you save it on your hard drive, it could be slightly more or less MB. The data transfer rate may go faster or slower, subject to your connection and depending on the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Immediately they are progressing superbly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage, and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will fill up so when it attains the end, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The fact is the emulator is already launched, here it is for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it created two icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be one we are considering. Anytime we need to start new Carnival Bliss on our laptop or computer, we twice click on that icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we make the next step, that is a requirement, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse here to, System Apps, we click. And we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. In this case we have got to sign in. At this time the moment we are there, we have to execute the following step which is absolutely mandatory. So we click on, Sign In. At this moment it announces, checking info. It might sometimes get stuck in, checking info, and so it doesn't advance. If that's the case, you should try to log in and after a couple of hours it's going to most certainly be solved. At this moment we shall type our username and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For example you make use of the same email you are using at this moment in your YouTube account. Therefore I will submit my details and I'll come back as soon as I have done it. That's it, information entered. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We are going to say yes to them by clicking on, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can leave it selected and it'll make a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play Store is started by default and instantly. To set up the app game, we have got to go to the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on this icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are exploring the desktop of the emulator, we notice that we now have right here the install game button. We click on the button. There we access to the Android game. 
So let's click on right here on the install option that I'm just highlighting now in green. And this will initiate the software setup. At this moment it should download and install the video game. It typically takes a while or it may be very fast. It all relies upon on the connection to the web. This has just finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this option that I'm highlighting in green. That allows you to run new Carnival Bliss for the very first time. You are presently on the emulator desktop. And we are preparing to click on that new new Carnival Bliss software icon that was created. This Android game is launched for the first time. Now there we end up with it. I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the sound level of this emulator. It is here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we can turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is simply the very first one. We then click on this icon which I am mentioning in green color. And the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Assuming that we aspire to run the application in full screen, we hit this particular app icon. And we might without a doubt be experiencing the game in full screen setting. To stop the full screen setting, press the F11 key. And we'd currently end up being in normal computer screen setting. At present, I am ready to demonstrate you the computer keys mapping which is actually quite cool. This step we will be able to use the game more easily. The very first task is to press this software icon. It's now time to make the required configuration settings. I am about to let the default configuration, but if you desire to change it, you may well do so without having problem. As you can see, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Sometimes it happens that your emulator is presented in the incorrect language, such as, in Chinese. And therefore to set it up in the appropriate language we go here to the cogwheel. Then right here throughout many other settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We should opt for the language we wish, English, Mandarin, etc. Once the language is chosen, we would save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the game application, next time we launch it, would also be in the opted for language. At present, you will find another detail that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive a message from Google Mail saying that a different device has been connected to our Google account. It definitely will check with us if we are the ones who have associated with that electronic device. That's right, we may not be troubled, considering that the emulator is emulating an Android electronic device. In order to identify which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, option. And right here we notice that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the training. I anticipate you appreciated it, particularly that everyone found it interesting. If so, give it a good like, subscribe to the channel, and any feedback, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment box below. Just click on any of those video tutorials which are usually showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the upcoming video tutorials. Bye.